Beautiful Souls is Karen here at Star Child Tarot, continuing with the March Astroscopes for all the signs. And today we're looking at Leo. So check out your Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support. I really appreciate that. All my links are down below for my shop, my card shop, my Patreon page, my other channel. And if you would like a personal reading, just email me. If you want to support my channel, there's a link in my link tree to a gift list where you can purchase cards and if you purchase a deck you can get a free reading from me that way as well so i just wanted to let you know so for leo for the highest light and love and i just want to show you what deck i'm using the dark fairy tale tarot for the highest light and love of leo what do they need to know for march the highest light and love of Leo, what do they need to know for March? We've got a hangman energy. Four of Wands. Four of Swords. Three of Swords. Why is the hangman there? Got the star. Six of wands. Four of coins. And the sun. So it's so beautiful to see the sun after the three of swords. So with the hangman clarified by the star energy, I feel right now you're probably taking a pause to reflect, to recharge, to do that healing work on yourself. Okay, you may be not moving forward because you need to do that work. But once you have done that work, that healing, you you will manifest your desires. And we've got the four of wands. So I feel that you're wanting stability and you're wanting success in your life. You know, you're following your passions and with the three sorry with the four of swords again you are resting recharging right now because there's been a heartbreak here with the three of swords so i feel that you've withdrawn you've taken time out um and i'm sorry if, if this if you're going through that right now and with the four of swords it's clarified by the four of coins so you could have been in a connection which you know there was a lack of give and take um somebody was holding on not not being generous, not giving to this connection, if it's talking about a connection. And, you know, the sun has kind of come out with, the, you know, you cl the three of swords clarify with the sun. You know, once you've done that healing work, you're going to come out the other side of it. You're going to feel much better. Okay, so it's about focusing on your healing and, you know, doing that work on yourself, giving yourself time out and you'll succeed and things will get much better for you with that sun energy you know you've got happiness and joy coming towards you i mean that's the happiest card in the deck so why is the hangman there we've got the ace of coins so there is going to be a new beginning here there is a brand new start coming in so why is the four of wands there we've got the king of coins so there could be an earth sign coming towards you Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody very grounded, somebody mature, um, could be quite a lot older than you, somebody wise, somebody financially stable and secure, and they're wanting that stability as well, they're wanting to build something solid with you with that four of wands, and you know, you could be taking that time out right now, with that four of swords, so they you could they could come into your life while you're still healing is what I'm seeing there. We've got the full energy though. So I feel that you are willing to take another chance on love. Okay? And I feel this person could help you heal even more. So I feel once you get to a certain point when you've done a certain amount of healing and this person comes towards you with a solid offer, it's going to help heal your heart even more, I feel. 
Yeah, we've got the Ace of Swords. So, yeah, I feel you're going to see the truth of what happened. You're going to have clarity over that and it's going to help you, you know, maybe realise that that wasn't for you, that, that that wasn't the person for you. OK, so why is the star there? We've got the Knight of Cups. So you're wanting romance, you're wanting love. And you're wanting fun times and that's coming towards you. So for some it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or it could be a water, earth mix. But yes, there is somebody coming towards you. It could be a choice for some of you. But with that Six of Wands, you're going to have success and victory. Things are going to work out. We've got the King, Queen of Coins. So you've got a match here with the King and Queen. This is counterpart energy. You know, you, you match each other's energy. And, you know, the past was, you know, a lack of give and take. And we've got the lover's energy. So this is soulmate energy. I feel this is somebody you're destined to meet. And, you know, this person is going to bring back the happiness and joy into your life here. And we've got the chariot. And it, things are going to move forward for you. They're going to move forward quickly here. What else can you tell us? We've got the High Priestess, so I feel you need to tap into your intuition, especially if there's a choice in love. Okay, but you will make the right decision. What else can you tell us? What else can you tell us? We've got Queen of Wands. So that could be uh, your energy, uh, uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So they see you as somebody very sexy, very passionate, you know, who attracts a lot of attention. So they do want to commit to this. You know, they do want to commit to this. And we've got the Ace of Cups there. So, yeah, this is going to be a new beginning in love. You know, this is a solid new beginning in love after heartbreak. So that's beautiful energy. Okay, let's get your life lessons messages for Leo. What else does Leo need to know for March? What else does Leo need to know for March? Got a time to reflect. So we saw that at the beginning. I feel that's how you may be starting the month off. Okay, you're doing that healing work. You're looking back. You're, you know, you're doing that work on yourself. But we've got unexpected changes coming in. So yes, you know, as I say, you're in the middle of healing and then somebody appears. Wow, true love arrives in your life. So yes, you're going to feel this. You're going to you're gonna know, okay? You, you know, tap into your intuition. You're going to know. What else can you tell us? got sweet times and treats so you're going to have some really beautiful sweet times okay coming ahead we've got that sun energy there so let's get some final guidance for leo final guidance for leo we've got personal issue reach as resolution so yeah i feel you know you've been doing that healing going within have faith in your dreams, you know, don't give up on your dreams, okay? And the end of a tough cycle approaches, yeah, we can see that you've got the sun coming out. So beautiful energies there. I'm going to leave it there. Love and blessings.